Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Well, the title says it all. It's the 100 subscriber special. I started this channel just putting a few of racing things that interested me on uh, maybe about three years ago. And uh, about a year ago, I bought the Rusty Box, this beauty right here, 1980 Ford Mustang hatch, 2.3 carbureted uh, transmission. As far as I think it's a C4, I'm sure some guys that know a lot better than me will be able to tell me, but it's definitely a three speed with no overdrive. Um, 100 subs. <laughs> Let's be honest, I can't believe 100 of you um, actually want to follow me or my car. But uh, when I said 2019 would be the year that I was really going to do something with this car and I was going to make it happen and I was going to document it. And as you can see, the shop behind me, walls under construction, door not installed yet. Contractor was supposed to show up again this morning. Um, teach me to give a down payment in advance. From now on, we pay when the work's done. Jeez, if I, if I worked like that at the garage, I'm a mechanic, by the way. Um, if I worked like that at the garage, I wouldn't have any customers uh, left, especially, you know, people that are willing to pay because they want things done. Um, I wanted this garage heated this winter. Uh, we're February 2nd. Happy Groundhog Day. Um, now, as far as the channel goes, um, I'm not out there for subs. I don't want to monetize. Uh, I'm just doing my thing. And if you guys enjoy being along for the ride, then that is awesome. But, uh, you know, uh, I enjoy reading comments and I enjoy uh, the interaction. Uh, definitely a Fox Body fanatic. Um, I love Fords. Uh, I love all cars. I mean, l l let's be honest. Um, you know, uh, by heart, by heart, I'm a demolition derby driver. Uh, I've been doing derbies for about 13 years. Um, last year, the year before, actually, I decided, you know, it ends up being rough on the back, and there, there's a certain level of, it's fun, I still love it, all my friends still do it, um, but I, I, there was this piece of satisfaction, I guess, that I never got with the derbies in the sense that you spend a grand, two grand, depending on your build, uh, how high you go up, I got pretty crazy at times, um, you spend a few thousand dollars, you spend six months, a year, sometimes a year and a half building your car, and after 10 minutes, it's gone. I mean, yeah, it was fun to build, but it lasted 10 minutes. So I was trying to find some way to get back into, um, back, back into racing, uh, without doing derbies and having something that was a little more long-term satisfaction. So the rusty box, what are we going to do with her? Well, the body's pretty rough. I mean, for Canadian standards, considering it's a 1980, it's not that bad, but most people would have looked at this car and ran. I mean, ran. Um, to get it on the road, I would have to undergo uh, some governmental inspections, and I'd have to put it 100% stock, and I mean, the car would have to be basically restored. Do I want to restore a four-cylinder car? Why? Um, so the plan is, the plans have changed a little bit. So, I'm on the hunt for a new Fox body. Don't fear, guys. We're not getting rid of the Rusty Box. We have plans for the Rusty Box. Um, this summer, maybe next summer, depending on funds, family, house, renovations. You, you know how it goes. Um, I'd like to buy myself a really nice driver. Uh, hopefully, uh, maybe a 4i LX or GT. But I'd prefer a 4i, but I love aero noses too, so it all depends on... What's clean, what's the right price, when it happens, timing, you know, motivation, inspiration. Uh, Roddy talks about uh, inspiration a lot on his channel, and yeah. Uh, when the time is right, I'll find the right car to be my driver. This bad boy will never see the road again. Now, I know a bunch of you are saying, Mark, you're a derby guy. You wouldn't dare. There's a small snicker of me that knows that these Fox bodies are excellent derby cars. I have derbied Fox bodies before. Never a Mustang. No, 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 no. I didn't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Don't worry. But uh, some Marquis, some Fairmonts, uh, some things that couldn't get back on the road and were just good for a derby. And I've had a lot of success with them. Um, I want to go drag racing. So we're going full on race car. Poor man race car. Don't get me wrong. We're not going with a cage or anything. We're going to basically get what we can. And uh, we're going to make this a V8 car. There's no doubt about it. 
I'd really like to go EFI. Um, if I can get everything I need to do that swap properly, uh, I'd like to get the car EFI. The car needs a third pedal. It needs a man pedal. This thing needs to be a stick shift. Even my crap can daily driver is a stick shift. I love banging gears. I don't care if it's an old truck with a 460 and a big granny shifter up here. I love banging gears. Um, so yeah, I want to build... I want to build the rusty box to go drag racing. Very low budget. We're not going to care about looks, aesthetics. Um, try to get it to the track this summer with the four cylinder and do a couple of baseline runs and really, you know, uh, let me stress, I am not a drag racer. I've been down the quarter mile twice in my life and both those times were more than 10 years ago. Um, so as the car goes from extremely slow and I go from extremely green behind seat time, I'm going to learn with the car. You guys are more than welcome to come along for the journey. I have no clue what I'm doing, let's be honest. Um, I fix cars every day, fixing cars and building drag cars and building derby cars. It's all different. It's all the same, but it's all different. So um, it's all going to come down to the deals I can get for parts. I'm not a rich guy, and uh, I don't. Ha I can't just whip out my credit card and buy $10,000 worth of stuff. And if I spent $10,000 on this thing, I spent too much money. Um, so basically the rusty box is going drag racing and we're going to find ourselves a nice driver that I can register. Cause although I do have the title to this vehicle, um, the way the diplomatic bureaucratic bullshit is, um, it, it's more trouble than it's worth to put this one back on the road. Um, so we're going to get another one that we can drive and this is going to be our new toy. This is going to be our weekend racer. Um, I don't believe there's any eighth mile tracks, unfortunately. I know that with gears and everything, I could go a lot further on an eighth mile than I can on a quarter mile. But, um, you know, uh, we're going to really check out what's what this summer. And uh, we're going to come up with a combination with a package. And uh, we're going to bring it all to you. And, yeah, I know normally I don't show you guys my ugly face, but um, I don't have any tripods or anything. But I'm looking into all that. Don't expect any fancy production value out of me. I'm just doing this because it's me, it's what I do. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm motivated. I want to do something with this car. Um, most people would probably part it out, build a drift car. I don't know what people would do, but, um, yeah, I'm going to save this car. And, uh, yeah, come on. Look at that interior. I love the interior. Um, but, yeah, it's time to... Uh, Slowly but surely, uh, when the snow melts and it gets a little warmer, and the uh, garage is somewhat workable, because right now it is, and I can't even bring my toolboxes in this portion of the garage, which is my shop where I want to build the car. Um, but uh, you guys are all going to follow along if you want. If you don't, that's okay, too. Um, if you have any advice, any questions, any comments, really don't be shy. Um... I must say, um, a lot, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, like I said, I'm even green behind the camera. <sighs> yeah, it's cold. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's very cold in here. So, uh, once again, guys, thank you. 100 subscribers. I can't believe it. I don't know why. Um, but uh, it's 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 humbling uh, to know that 100 people actually care what's going on in my shop. And, uh, you know, uh, let's just make this... Uh, Let's take this as it comes, uh, you know, I'm going to learn, I don't know everything, so the how-to videos here, you know, uh, some of you real professionals might not like how we do things, but it doesn't have to be perfect, um, that's the whole point of this car, um, even the driver I'm planning on buying, I just want a rust-free car, I don't care what kind of shape it's in mechanically, that can all be fixed, um, as long as it's solid, uh, but there are a couple irons in the fire, uh, to find an, a new driver, but uh, as for this one, the Rusty Box, uh, the big announcement is, uh, as you saw the helmet on the roof, uh, we've made our decision. This car is going to be, oh, I know people are going to hate or are going to hate on the fact that this is going to have to be trailered, but uh, if I can't get it registered and I can't get it, 
it comes down to economics. This is why no one would save this car. The thousands of dollars I would have to pay to make this car 100% original and perfect, and I mean with the catalytic converter, what have you, to make it past that inspection, because they don't want these old cars that have been taken off the road back on the road, so trying to grind our gears. <coughs> So, any normal guy that would buy this car because he wanted to build a driver, well, let's just put it this way. The ten grand I would have to put to restore this car so that it could still be a C4 2.3 carbureted slowmobile would cost the same thing as buying a really clean late 80s, early 90s GT or LX that already has an HO and, a, you know, 5-speed and all that good stuff, so n no one would, most guys would take the windshield, and the dash, and the steering column, and, you know, the manual rack, uh, they would take what's good off of it, and they'd, they'd junk the body, this car might end up in a junkyard one day, I hope not, I don't think so, um, but we're gonna prolong its life, because we're gonna take it to the track, and, uh, we're gonna learn together, and we're gonna have some fun along the way, I'm sure, and uh, once again, I just want to thank you guys, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you know, follow the Rusty Box and my shop and me and other things. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I have a 2014 Ford F-150. That is my snowmobile. It's my winter vehicle, my everyday family pull the trailer, do what I have to do uh, vehicle. If you guys want to know more about that. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I also have a little Nissan that I drive uh, in the winter when you can't live the Fox life. So anyway, this video is just going to be a mumble jumble of the few things I've been able to film this winter. Uh, like I said, the renovations and certain things that have come up have kept me from being able to start the video series as much as I'd like. But uh, you're going to be along to follow for all. I'll update on everything. Uh, the garage, the car, anything we do, I'm going to film it and I'm going to put it out there. So once again, this is this video, oh boy, this is getting long. So uh, once again, like I said, my name is Mark. Uh, this is my channel. Uh, if you guys uh, want to come along for the ride, I have no objection to that whatsoever. Um, but I promise you guys, the next 100 subscribers, it's a milestone. Uh, for me, anyway, because I never expected four people to subscribe. Um, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, the next milestone, I don't know, maybe like 200 subs or something like that, uh, if we make sure there's no cops around, maybe we'll uh, get this thing running on the four-cylinder and we'll try to do a burnout for you guys, even if it's in the garage, we'll try to figure something out. So, um, anyway, once again, like, comment, subscribe, catch you on the next one. Hey, uh, guys, uh, 100 subscriber special, what do you say? Do we do a front-wheel drive donut? And those studded Toyo snow tires really do grip. <laughs> Thanks again for the 100 loss.